Hi guys, Opti here, and this tutorial is about the scheme of the fizz gun, changing the color of the beam, the way it looks, all the sprites around it. So stick around, enjoy it. What I'm going to have to have you do is make sure Steam is in offline mode for this to work, or else it will not work. And uh, yeah, so thank you. Download a few things if you don't already have them installed and downloaded. I'm going to have you download GCF Scape, which is this right here. I'm also going to have you download VTF Edit, which is this right here. And then a few other programs. I download my favorite program, which is Jask Paint Shop. You download it. I cannot tell you the rest. But I do need to let you know that you need uTorrent for the download. So if you don't have uTorrent, I will also put a download for that in the video. Thank you for sitting through my crap. Once you have everything installed, open Jask Paint Shop Pro. And then we're going to go to GCF Scape. Open that as well. And while we're at it, we're also going to open VTF Edit. All right, there is our GCF Scape and click file open and then we're gonna locate to your desktop because we have to get from your desktop to whatever folder you have your Gary's Mod stuff and so we're gonna go to my computer then we're gonna go to local disk C locate program files and we're gonna scroll all the way down until we find Steam and Steam is right here we're gonna open Steam apps and then with the screen with our username and source mod you'll see a bunch of big purple squares those are the GFC files configure as. So we're going to go to source material. We're going to click HL2, materials. Scroll down until you find sprites. Double click sprites. And this is what you're going to need from sprites. So we're going to need glow one. Scroll down until you find glow one. Hold on. Keep going until we find glow one. So we're going to take this and put it on our desktop. And then we're going to find laser beam. We're going to take this and drag it onto our desktop. Then we're going to find fizz beam. Drag that onto your desktop as well. And then we're going to find strider blue beam. Scroll down until you find strider blue beam dot VTF. All these have to be the VTF files. I'm sorry about that. I didn't tell you that. All right. And then that is it. So we're going to hit X on the GCF. Going to open our VTF edit. We're going to go to file open and we're going to go to our desktop and then we're going to find our four files so we're going to click one at a time glow1.vtf let it load it'll take a little bit to load so we're going to hit file export and then we're going to do glow1.tga make sure the type is a tga hit save and we're going to do this for the rest of these and i will get back to you once i've done that all right so once you have all of those extracted we're just going to close out our vtf edits we're going to take our glow vtf laser beam all those other things and just throw those in the recycling bin because we don't need those now now we still have our glow one laser beam fizz beam and strider blue beam on our desktop we're going to open our jask paint shop pro and we're going to change the color of all of those so now they're tga files so now they're recognizable by most uh, paint programs. So we're just going to go to open and we're just going to go to our desktop. So we're going to select all of the textures, the TGA files. All right, here they are. So the glow and the laser beam. Uh, the glow is what you see around the ring of the fizz gun. So it'll glow and it'll pulsate and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my little uh, sharpen brush thing. Under it, there's the light and darken tool. I'm going to go to change the target. Uh, let's see. I want to change it all to red. I think red would look really good. Change the target. I'm going to go to this. I'm going to select red. I think red would look pretty good. Make sure I'm still on change the target. And then just mouse one and click it all. I'm going to do the same to the fizz beam. It's going to make it look all red. Even though red is not a good color of mine at all. I, I dislike red so much. But I'm going to do this to all of these things. Now the strider blue beam is the beam that you see on the fizz cannon when it's empty. So we can make this uh, red and then the fizz beam is the one that you'll see when the uh, fizz cannon has something. So I'm going to make that green just to let you know what's up. Now I'm going to take the glow one. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste a new one. I'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to name this one glow two. All right. So I'm going to save all these to my desktop. So it will be glow two dot tga make sure you save these as tga file control s all of these so we're just going to hit x on our jask paint shop and this is what we're going to do with these we're going to do file or right click new folder we're going to name this materials inside of materials 
We're going to make a folder called sprites. Then we're going to have to go back to the VTF edit and reverse the whole process. So that way we can change these TGA files into VTF files. So with VTF edit, we're going to go to file, import. I'm going to do glow one. And when VTF options come up, just hit OK. Then we're going to go to file, save as, glow one dot VTF, just on your desktop. And we're going to repeat this whole process for all the other textures that we have as well. So I'll see you then. So once you have all those, just click X, take all these TGA files that you made earlier, and dump them. So we don't need those anymore either. But we do need the glow, the strider, the fizz, the laser, and the other glow. Stick those in materials. Inside of materials, just select them all again. Put those in sprites. All right, click X. Now we're going to locate your Gary's Mod folder. So we're going to go to Start, My Computer, Local Disk C, or for Vista users, OSC, Program Files, or for some Vista users, Program Files 86, whatever folder you installed it into. Scroll down until you find Steam, open Steam Apps, and then find your username. Mine's Silo Sloth. If you guys want to add me, there you go. Find Gary's Mod folder, your Gary's Mod folder. Then we're going to find Materials. So we're going to take this materials folder that's on your desktop, slip it in here with your uh, Gary's Mod folder, just click yes to all. We're going to open materials, we're going to open sprites and see if we did it right. And that we did, all your files are right here. Alright, close that, and I will show you what it looks like in-game. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.